Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a really cute Easter basket to show you. This is one of my favorite um, projects. I've made these in the past, these, these little Easter baskets. Perfect for just a couple pieces of candy. Um, I am using the super cute little duck from Easter Friends and I'm pulling in Daffodil Daydream as well. All right, let's make the basket first. All right, we are gonna start with a piece of balmy blue that is three and a half by three and a half. Now all the measurements will be over on my blog, you guys. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go over and get that free PDF. Three and a half by three and a half, and we're gonna score it at half an inch on all four sides. Really easy. Okay, now you wanna take your bone folder, which mine was here, and now it has disappeared. All right, well, oh no, here it is. It was hiding. There we go. A bone folder really just helps you get those lines nice and crisp. All right, now take your scissors and cut the score lines on two sides. Whatever two sides, it doesn't matter, just make sure they're across from each other. All right, now you wanna take your adhesive of choice. I'm gonna to use Tombow, and my Tombow's a mess. And we're gonna put, I think we'll put the glue right here. A little dab will do ya. And then you wanna fold this in like that. All right. And we'll hold those. Um, normally, I like to give this some time to dry with little clothespins. You can take your clothespins, which I have right here, and just let it sit for, you know, a minute to really set that glue. So we'll do that for a second. These look good already. I am using some of our um, peach. I forgot, Sweet as a Peach designer series paper. It's retiring, if you love it, make sure you get it before it's gone. Um, I'm gonna take my tear and tape, which is hiding over here. And everything is hiding today from me. All right, I'm gonna take and run tear and tape along one long end. And on one short end. All right, now we're gonna take off this from the bottom. Peel that off. And I think we'll go ahead and do this one too. This is gonna be, you wanna start on the opposite end because this is gonna be the last part that goes around. Okay, so there's the sticky side. Now I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna start in the middle right here of one of the sides and I'm just going to slowly wrap it around adhering to the the DSP to the edges of the box okay and then when we get over here that's the sticky side so we'll press all of that in all right, there's the base of your box. Now I have three pieces of cardstock that are half an inch wide, and I'm gonna put tear and tape on two of them. You could also use Stamp and Seal, Stamp and Seal Plus. I think either will work because this is just gonna be the border. But I find that tear and tape is just easy, especially when it's something this width. All right, I'm gonna start over here where I started originally so the seams will all be in the same place. And I'm gonna go around the edge of my basket. All the way around and finish right there. And then this one goes along the bottom okay again start in the same place so that your all your seams will be pretty much in the same spot a 
wrapping it around, matching those bottom edges. And there we go. Okay, now this last piece is the handle. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of tear and tape here and a little bit of tear and tape there. And we will take those pieces off and put them on the inside. Now, two schools of thought on the seam. This can be the back or this can be the front and we'll cover it up with our um, little tag. So I think that's what I'll do. So I'm gonna have the handle start over here, press that in and over here like that. How cute. Just think about all the DSP you have that you could make these with. All right, let's make our tag. We're gonna start by stamping our daffodils and our little duck. Little duck is the cutest image in this set, I think. All right, there we go. And then we've got our duck. Now the daffodils have dyes, but the duck does not. So we are gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting. Okay, and we're gonna stamp the sentiment up here in balmy blue. And the sentiment is from the Daffodil Daydream set. There is a Happy Easter stamp also in the Easter Friends, um, if you prefer to use that one. All right, now I am using yellow Stampin' Blends. Every time I use a yellow, I like to heat set my images. I just find sometimes that the yellow picks up the, the um, black and makes it a little muddy. So if you heat set it, it will not do that. It's the only color that I that I have that problem with. All right, I'm gonna start with um, Daffodil Delight Light. And I'm just gonna give all of my daffodils a little coat of light. All right, I'm gonna leave the tips white, the tips of the petals white, so that they look a little bit lighter. I have several projects using the Daffodil uh, Daydream bundle. If you'd like to see them, you can find them on my blog or of course on YouTube. All right, I'm gonna add some dark here Wherever things would kind of be overlapping or there would be a shadow is where you want to add your dark. The artist has kind of give us, given us a little hint with those lines in the petals. Okay. Now I'm going to take my Granny Apple Green Light and color all of these. You can use any green that you would like because we don't have green on our paper that we need to match. Granny Apple is my favorite green for sure. We have quite a few greens to choose from. Oops, forgot one. Okay, now for our little duck. Again, I'm gonna start with the light, Daffodil Delight. And I'm just gonna color him all over with the light. I'm using the bullet tip end of my Daffodil Delight. Um, because my brush tip is um, not, it's not in good condition. I've used this, <laughs> this marker so much that I really can't use the, the brush end very much anymore. Um, it's almost ready to re be replaced, but that's why I'm using the bullet tip. Usually on bigger sections like, like this, I'd like to use the brush tip. But the bullet tip will work just fine as well. Now I added some dark and I'm just gonna take my light and kind of blend it around, giving him some variation in color. All right, and then last we'll take our our pale papaya and color in his feet. All right, now as I mentioned, we're gonna need to fussy cut him. So let's do that first. Cut out 
cut away a lot of your extra cardstock. Grab your smallest, sharpest pair of scissors. You wanna use small scissors. It's very hard to fussy cut with large scissors. And just go along the outside. I like to leave a white border. I'm not, he's got a lot of little scratch lines, little hairs that poke out. I am not gonna worry about those. I'm just gonna keep my line, my cutting line smooth around the outside edge. Um, use the center part of your scissors as you go. That will help you stay kind of smooth with your cutting. And when you get out of the lines like I did, you can just cut that off and no one will know. All right, there we go. He is adorable. Now we've got this punch that we're gonna punch out. This is the Taylor Tag Punch. There we go. And then now we need, we're ready to cut this with the matching dies. All right, now that we have everything cut out, let's put it all together. I'm gonna take my daffodils and put them kind of to the side. I am also gonna trim off those like that. And then we'll put our little duck. Actually, let's put our words here first, like this, kind of like that. And then the duck can kind of go over it like that. So we'll put him right there. Last but not least, we'll add a bumblebee gingham bow. This ribbon is retiring. If you love it as much as I do, make sure you get it before it's gone. Everything is while well. supplies last during the retirement period, so you want to make sure you get it before it sells out, if it does. Okay, my glue dots. And we will put, did I get the glue dot? Yep, and we'll put that right there. Now let's bring back our basket. Remember our seam is right there. So I'm gonna put the dimensionals right there and cover up that seam. Let's go a little bit higher like that. And ta-da, there you go. Oh, no, you guys, you forgot to tell me we needed the scalloped circle too. And look, those dimensionals just popped right off. <laughs> they knew, they knew they were not in the right place. Now, ta-da, we're done. Okay, now check it out. I used two different uh, pattern paper, but from the same um, Sweet as a Peach set. All right, click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, grab that free PDF, and check out the two other Easter Friends projects. Happy Easter, everyone. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.